So today I'm reviewing this uh, Fender Koa Strat circa 2006 made in Korea and uh, I'm just going to give you a breakdown. There's a lot of other people who have their videos playing their guitars and whatnot but I'm just going to go over some of the technical aspects of this guitar to give you guys that have messaged me uh, to get some more information and said you've never seen this Strat before and would like to know uh, some more about it. So, outside of the custom shop strats, Fender doesn't really use koa wood. So this was a limited run, 2006 and 2007, uh, and made in Korea, probably in the Samic factory uh, out in Korea. Uh, basically, they made this guitar, which it has a base wood body and a thin koa top. So it's not made out of solid koa or anything. Most of it is American base wood and has a little veneer on top and I'm going to go into the benefits and the downsides of that uh, shortly with you but let me just give you some more technical information about the guitar so it was made in Korea, it's got a beautiful beautiful bird's eye maple neck, it's a limited uh, edition run that went on, as you can see these aren't the standard strap pickups, they're Seymour Duncan uh, on Nico Pro 2's and uh, they have a killer sound for a strat, just really 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 funky sounds that uh, you get out of them really on the clean side you get uh, a lot of output and not too much noise that you would get like on a Texas Special or something like that the, or one of the American Standard pickups and then when you play in the neck it's like cleaner than anything else you'll hear you uh, when you turn up the gain uh, you still get a lot of power out of it which is uh, really good they're really good strap pickups I recommend them for anyone I have uh, other videos that you could see me actually testing this out, but on this one, uh, I won't because I just want to go over some technical uh, details. So, it's got like uh, standard tuners on it, nothing special. And um, <coughs> what's cool about it is it's got a solid, uh, uh, it's got a solid brass, uh, not the, the entire bridge is not, but the block of the bridge is made out of brass, which it has some very cool resonant tones. And uh, on most of the strats that you see that are uh, not the USA strats, you will have typically a bridge like this that has six holes and six screws holding down that end of the bridge into the guitar. This is a little bit different in that these are the bridges that's used in this guitar, the same one used in the USA standard, which uh, basically it's a two point floating tremolo, which means that there's two little bolts that are right down here, and aside from that, uh, the tremolo. Uh, the bridge block is not uh, anywhere mounted to the guitar, so it's just these two and uh, it floats freely from that. It sucks in some ways because the guitar, it's really tough to stay in tune unless you uh, tighten down your springs that you have in the back and, uh, and you know, screw in the plate that you have there and you get this flush down with the guitar. And uh, once you do that, it's kind of kind of hardtail it and you get uh, you, the guitar will stay in tune better because you're kind of blocking out the tremolo but uh, w what happens with this guitar because of this thin koa top that uh, Fender kind of tried to experiment with you could get cracking and uh, underneath I don't know if you can see a little bit looks like it's some finished cracking but it could be down there in the wood for all we know so that happens on this guitar as well and base wood is not the best for uh, changes in humidity so if you live in an area like I do up in New York where the, uh, you have drastic temperature changes between seasons you might get some cracking right around here from the guitar expanding and contrasting and it usually happens in the neck joint uh, when you have a tight a, uh, a, uh, you know when your neck is in there pretty tight and you've got a really tight fit the finish will start to crack a little bit and that's uh, <coughs> in part because of the polyurethane finish that's coated on here and uh, and that tends to crack but it usually doesn't get down there in the wood so that's uh, one of the features of this guitar it comes actually with this very cool perloid uh, pick guard that's white uh, so the headstock just says fender on it you have the serial number in the back these were made for only two years 2006 2007 it was a limited run but they're actually excellent guitars the neck plays and sounds beautifully this neck alone 
uh, the bird's eye maple is something you can only get really on the custom shop Fender guitars. You don't really see any mass production guitars being made with these and there's a few different reasons for that. Number one is uh, kind of because of the limitations on the use of the woods that are imported. So wood has to kind of be finished outside of the country before it's imported and that make it really tough for the USA side to do this. So I figured that the the reason why they're able to produce this thing is kind of because of where it was produced and uh, and how the wood are because the regulations would be really tough in uh, I'm back here in in the states for something like that. It's so uh, those are the major. It's got a f of course five five way switch, two tone knobs and a volume knob. And uh, I don't have the tremolo bar here, but it plays. It sounds really nice for a Strat and uh, for something. If you could find one of these for like now it's 2013, so they've been out of production for like five years. You can kind of see a little nick that I have in mind right there at the top. So these have been out of production for about five years, but if you could pick one up, they usually go for about 500 to 700 bucks. They were a little bit less. They used to cost 700 dollars new, but I guess. Uh, there's a lot of value in these guitars, so when you see them listed on eBay or whatnot, um, you can really tell that there's a lot of value in them because they go for more than they were originally sold for these days. So um, uh, I don't really treat it like it's anything special because, according to my opinion, Fender really doesn't make too good of a guitar. They're mostly pieces of shit that can't stay in tune for the most part, and it took Leo Fender a while to get. Uh, getting this down when he first started with the broadcaster. Uh, he started out with a piece of shit neck that had no truss rod in it, and <coughs> that didn't work out too well. But uh, uh, they've come a long way, and to be able to produce a guitar like this for 700 bucks that they produced goes to show you that uh, you keep getting more and more for your money. And I'll, I have uh, other videos if you want to subscribe to my channel where I'll show you some cheaper guitars like uh, the Squire Classic Vibe. Telecaster that I have, which provides you some great value uh, for the money, and it's great for beginner, intermediate, uh, someone gigging or whatnot. Because really, the only difference these days in between where the the guitars are made is the name. I mean, uh, can a Chinaman build a guitar as good as an American? Uh, definitely. Why wouldn't they be able to? The quality control out of the factories is a little is something else on the other hand but I've seen the stuff from China coming out uh, becoming really good again this is a Korean made strat probably in the Samic factory in Korea where they make really good guitars which and I'm not surprised that this is beautiful and came out the way it does and play the, plays the way it does uh, it's taken some abuse but it still kicks major ass and uh, you could look online uh, right here on YouTube look up Fender Color Stratocaster you'll find other people with the same guitar playing it and uh, all different types of stuff and all different types of styles so I'm sure you guys will check it out but if you wanted to know some of the technical aspects of this guitar then I just explained them to you feel free to ask me any additional questions if you have if you can pick one up let me know the price I'll let you know if it's a good deal if you can find them for under 500 bucks uh, that's a good price for a used one um, and usually like I said if you find one on eBay they usually go for like seven or eight hundred bucks if they're in good condition and uh, it's just a beautiful it plays like so nice the neck is really soft the radius is a little bit thinner than I like I like the big fat beefy necks that you find but uh, uh, that's not the case on this one it doesn't deter me in, in any way though from playing it so if uh, you have the chance to pick one of these up I would suggest you try especially if you can get it good because you could flip it on eBay if uh, if you find a good deal on one locally. So feel free to subscribe to my channel and keep rocking on.